Previously, I got a 3 8 inch ram pump to work. I called it the world's smallest ram pump. But I found out that the drive pipe has got to be a half inch because a 3 8 inch drive pipe has too much friction loss to bring enough water to the check valve. So now that I know this pump works, it's time to run a couple of tests. The first test I want to run is a gallons per minute required to run the pump. So the delivery pipe is going to be turned off and I'm just going to be running the drive pipe here. So let's get started. So here's the setup for the first test. I have the 3 8 inch ram pump that has half inch drive pipe. I have not measured the length here but it's somewhere around 50 feet up to a bucket up here. And I would like to get a head pressure real quick. So I've got my tape measure. So the approximate head pressure is going to be uh, two and a half feet plus about a foot and a half of hydrostatic pressure which will change as the water in the bucket is removed. So here's the plan. I'm going to turn the pump on and it will pull from this five gallon bucket which is full to the top. I'm going to time how long it takes that bucket to drain out and stop the pump and then I'll be able to calculate the gallons per minute required to run this pump. We've got the pressure tank fully primed and ready to go and I've got my stopwatch here. So I'm going to crank that open and start my stopwatch and see how long it takes this pump to run. It's been one minute and we've used uh, very little so this test may take a while. Eight minutes in and it's past the halfway mark. Looking like right there. So we don't have too much more to go. I hear the bucket gulping air now so it's just a short time. Okay, and the official time, 13 minutes, 30 seconds. So what I calculate, this pump ran for 810 seconds, which is 13 and a half minutes. So 5 divided by 810 times 60 gives a total of 0.37 gallons per minute. Less than half a gallon, which is really nice. So if you have a very low flow spring or creek and you're still looking to use a ram pump, you can use the 3 8 inch version and only use 0.37 gallons per minute. I'd still recommend if you had like 0.8 or even a gallon per minute, uh, this would be able to run and you still have water flowing through the creek. Now for the second test of this video, I have the ram pump set up in the same place and I've measured three and a half feet total head pressure from the bucket. And now I have set the delivery pipe up to the top of this gutter up here. So let me find out the height here and then we will see how much water is pumped up to this height. I've got my tape measure here. Let me see what height we're at. Thirteen feet total. I have the pump running and a measuring cup. I'm going to start my stopwatch and go for one minute and measure out how much is pumped in that one minute. Since the ram pump only uses 0.37 gallons per minute, we should expect a tremendous amount less than that for uh, pumping up here. All right, there's the one minute mark. Looks like in one minute's time, we got 20 ounces, just slightly over 20 ounces right here. So let's think about the numbers real quick. The input head pressure was 3.5 feet pumping to 13 feet. So if you looked at the 3.5 feet head pressure, it would theoretically have a max um, lift of 24 and a half feet. So this is right at half of its potential. And actually I'm seeing the same results with that water that was being pumped. So uh, it required a 0.37 gallons per minute input to run the pump and the output was 0.1 six which is almost half very decent so definitely impressed with this 3 8 inch pump i do want to run one more test 
I've always assumed that when the delivery pipe is open, it's going to use the same gallons per minute input as when it's closed, but I've never tested that. So I want to open up the delivery pipe this time and see if it still uses that 0.37 gallons per minute. My source bucket is full to the same level again. I've got my stopwatch ready and the uh, delivery pipe is open. All right, let's see if it uses the same 0.37 gallons per minute with the delivery pipe open this time. Getting some pretty solid results here. It's been seven minutes on the uh, dot and the water is actually quite far down there. So it does mean that with the delivery pipe open, it's gonna require more water. Okay, the pump has just reached the end at exactly eight minutes. Well, I guess that's what I get for assuming. The pump required 0.67 gallons per minute to operate which was almost uh, half of what it required last time. So definitely a good test to, uh, to know about. Well, if you have enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button. And if you would share this video with your uh, Facebook and your Instagram and Twitter, and of course on YouTube, that would be a big help to me. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>